So every few months, some black guy gets on the internet talking about all the reasons why he doesn't date black women. And first off, I need black women to take accountability. Why do we time after time, you see it coming, you see it coming, why feed into it? Just looking at the Dusty, he does not have his pick of the litter. So who cares what he wants? It feels like part of the problem is that folks are way too stuck on their phones. You take your phone with you into the bed. You take your phone with you into the bathroom. You take your phone with you as soon as you wake up, right before you go to bed. It creates this illusion. <laughs> it creates this false reality that the messages that you're receiving on social media are pervasive. They're not. They're simply just not. You really have to get into the mind of someone who will just get on the internet and start aiming at people, especially people that they deem to be either weaker, uh, lower in status, or just in general in life. Anyone who has to tear someone else down is probably doing it just to build himself back up. So let's acknowledge the low self-esteem and insecurity of these men. You can just imagine the time and time again they've been passed over, passed over by the girls that they liked, probably black girls once upon a time. And all of a sudden, now that they have this platform, they can turn that ugliness out onto other people. Don't fall for it. It has nothing to do with you. I am 110% sure it has nothing to do with you. If only these social media platforms could just create a, an ignore button so that you could ignore. Remember that from Awkward Black Girl? Ignore. So you can just remove the garbage from your timeline. Every comment, every time you share, you're just giving them that boost of self-esteem. Like they're being seen, they're being heard, they matter. Nigga, you don't matter. You don't. I just, I just had to get this out. It's just, it's been weighing on me being sensitive to all of this energy. Stop carrying around these dudes' energy. It's theirs to work on, it's theirs to carry. They actually bring me back to the sixth grade. In my homeroom, there were two little boys, two little melon head boys who felt the need to, from jump, call me big teeth. The funny thing was they had even bigger teeth. They were literally two woodchucks. And it was just like, you're projecting. This is essentially what's going on here. They feel a low sense of self-worth and they are projecting that onto people that they assume have lower self-worth, black women. You got us fucked up. Another thing we need to realize is that you can't save everybody. Yeah, we can talk about how colorism dates all the way back to slavery um, and that we need to evolve. But uh, these men are allowed to not evolve if they don't want to. You don't have to drag them along with you. You can leave them right where they are. They're happy. Leave them where they want to be. You can't save everybody. They're allowed to have whatever preference they want, no matter how biased, bigoted, whatever you want to call it, they're allowed to have whatever preference. Clearly the problem comes in when they feel the need to insult others to validate their choice. But it can sometimes feel like there are some Black women who feel entitled or feel like Black men are obligated to want them, or at least the Black men that they want are obligated to want them back. That is another conversation for another day. This is all stuff that we need to have serious conversations about. 
because social media is warping everything. Like, folks' expectations don't make no sense. But yeah, girl, don't let this shit distract you. And once again, ignore these niggas.